This contest is a ladies' match. We started out with Lula, the longest reigning women's champion of all time. The fabulous Lula! She defined women's wrestling. If it wasn't for her, every girl in this business, we'd never been here. Historically, women were a special attraction, a novelty act. I mean, once in a while, you'd bring the grappling women. Joyce Rebel! Vicki Williams! There is little heart. Let's welcome Miss Susan Green. Vivian Vachon. Kitty Adams. Vivian St. John. Because this has always been a male-dominated business, Women wrestlers uh, at that particular time, we were always novelties. That was an era when women weren't really welcome. There wasn't that many women back then. Women would come in once in a while. And there was a feel by some guys like, they're taking money out of my paycheck because they don't really mean anything. It's like a novelty. But hey, women are a huge part of this industry. Even from smaller roles like announcers from way back in the day. Joining me at ringside, of course, the always lovely Mike McGurk. First ever lady referee, Rita Marie. Missy Hyatt in Missy's Manor. And then people like Sherry Martell. Joyce Grable. Leilani Kai. Wendy Richter. This belt right here says it all. Cindy's gave me inspiration. Any woman can get what she wants. If she wants it bad enough, all she has to do is try hard. And believe in herself. You have to believe in yourself. A lot of people do, you know, really stand back and say, you really are a lady wrestler. I say, yes, I am. And they say, no, there is no way. And I said, well, it's not the, you know, the size that counts, it's the ability. wasn't for the ones who paved the way. The path to the Women's Tag Team Championships began with the Glamour Girls. Velvet McIntyre and Desiree Peterson. Here we have the co-holders of the World Late Tag Team Champions, Velvet McIntyre and Princess Victoria. The, the Jumping Bomb Angels. These Japanese girls are just fantastic. Their teamwork is second to none. And they are extraordinary athletes who can perform extraordinary maneuvers. They are out there getting really physical. It's still, you know, kind of a novelty. I didn't want a piece of the pie at that time. I wanted to be the best that I could do. Yellowed slightly, but not, not in the ring. <laughs> They were female wrestlers, and then there were kind of female characters on the show that maybe played a part in some of the male storylines. Um, but there wasn't necessarily a combination of the two for a very long time. Escorted into the ring by manageress Sherry Bartell. The first lady of the World Wrestling Federation, Miss Elizabeth! Miss Elizabeth in Macho Man's Corner was just another way to stand out against the grain from others. The women's division seems to be going fairly well. There, there weren't really that many women wrestlers around, maybe uh, Velvet McIntyre, Sherry Martell, but there wasn't that much competition out there. It wasn't like a women's wrestling division where they could truly show off their athleticism. And the one thing Vince McMahon decided to do was cut the women's division. 